Emmanuel Wanekeze. I'm here in Charis as a visitor and uh, I met with a prophet one-on-one -on -one and uh, he, 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 as if he knew that I've been, I've been hurt in the past by some prophets. So he started by prophesying to me, telling me things that are very deep. Something like telling me where I came from, even though I'm a Nigerian. He mentioned the name of my hometown without being told. He mentioned the name of my hometown. He told me a lot of deep things about myself so as to get me convinced that I'm at the right place. And I was so surprised. And then he also prophesied about the the family tree that my ancestors were worshiping that was still holding down our blessings in our family. And I can, I can confirm that to be true. Because in my family, things has not been going well with anybody. Everybody has been struggling, struggling, and struggling. But I thank God today because all the prophecy he gave to me were 100% true. And I got deliverance at the end of the day. And I'm free in Jesus Christ's name. I thank God. Glory be to Almighty God. I thank God. The person next to me is my daughter, Kaboya One Matlo. We are all away from Nepalale. The reason why we came here, it was for deliverance. And we want to thank God for His love, for His mercy. We managed to get breakthrough. To God be the glory. Uh, the Bible says people perish because they lack knowledge. And when it continues again, it says people who, are, who, who can humble themselves, who are called my, by my name, if they can humble themselves and seek my face, I as God, I will hear their prayer. So I want to thank God for coming here. I don't regret. God has answered me, and men of God managed to prophesy to me. And he told me that as my God, I must keep on praying. I'm going to, to be the one who's going to save Madlow's family. I must keep on trusting in God. Amen. Hello, everybody. My name is Kabaya One Madlow. The person next to me is my mother. I want to thank God for the deliverance that he has given us. Um, for the breakthrough, for all that you've given us. Hi, my name is uh, Pastor Ndaba from Heaven Minded Ministries International. Um, I thank God for the wonderful time that I've had with the man of God, Apostle J. J. B. Makananisa. He has spoken to me um, some uh, basic things of my life. He has spoken to me about my struggle that I'm going through. Uh, struggling in life, stagnation in life, and that he, uh, things are not moving. And he has also spoken about the car that he, uh, the mechanic, the mechanic that I gave to fix the car, he took the car, and then he sold and squandered the money. He's spoken to me about that thing as well, and as well as the, the blessing that the Lord has in store for me, in terms of ministry, in terms of the also another car that's coming. And he also, he told me that he he's also seeing uh, five uh, five businesses that he um, that is that is a coming that the Lord has released over my life, and uh, it has been a wonderful time. I've been prayed for, and I've been delivered, and I declare everything. It has been restored, and I'll come back for testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My name is Sydney. I come from Midland. Um, I received a prophecy from the man of God today. The prophecy is um, concerning my businesses. The man of God said, I will be a, a big businessman and I must continue to do the business that I want to do. He said that my breakthrough will come from the business. And this prophecy is true. It's what I've been thinking about. 
um, I've got plans to do businesses. I've got plans to, 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 to start business at home. It is something that I want to do as soon as possible. So I thank the man of God for the prophecy. I thank the man of God for the prayers, for the breakthrough that is coming. Because whatever he's told me is true and it's going to happen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good afternoon, church. My name is John Dito. I'm originally from Pretoria. I went to see man of God one-on-one -on -one concerning my life. Uh, he did prophesy about my job. Um, I came here last year, but I came back again because I was promoted, yes, but there were a lot of challenges at my job. Man of God prayed for me and spoke about my child's education. I must relocate and trust God for your partner. And he did pay for me in everything that he prayed for. That's what was I, was, I wanted man of God to pray for. In the name of Jesus, Amen. My name is Bruce Kika from Northwest. Yeah, Pastor Obletsika didn't talk to the Pedi here. Can I? Ke tlako mela tava tsa different, and then ke tlako mela tava tsi din khape tsa. So na kana leba tsuba bumbe ba le kore pansa mela kadi kadi tracks ka mishongo ma ka 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 like the some of the joke it's a car then I said yes it's true I know one of I know one of them who are consulting about my jokies all the stuffs and um, then another thing of let's go uh, the drug dealers they I have to be careful about those people by uh, the close friend but I said unfortunately I don't have any friend up to now then I will have a to talk about I have be careful to be uh, vigilant all the times, then I thank you very much. My name is Tuntukan Gaveni. I'm from Giyani Makosha village. What the man of God, Apostle Makadanesa told me about today is exactly the same prophet, the same prophecy that I received from the man of God prophets and received yesterday. And I really want to thank God because God is speaking through his servant, his anointed servant. And I thank God that God is going to do something in my life and in the life of my family. And I thank God for that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel Kosa. I'm from Bazalan Village, around Malamlele area. Um, my experience with the man of God is that uh, as a visitor here, who came to see the man of God for direction, and more advices, especially in the things of the ministry. He spoke with me to make me understand the reasons why one is going through whatever thing is going through. And just to calm one down, to understand that even when it comes to the issue of the anointing, obviously there's a price that must be paid. And giving even some clarities in some of the dreams that one used to have on indicating that God is taking me into the prophetic ministry where he advised that one needs to go and listen to the Spirit and work according to the Spirit as the Spirit is going to lead and everything that the Spirit of God will be showing and telling one delivering it. So that's what I can say. But it's been a wonderful experience for that matter. And he prayed for me for impartation, for the anointing, and I received it so much, and I thank God for that.